Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video, I want to show you all five different tells that'll help you figure out if your Ducky One Two Mini keyboard is either a real authentic one or a fake counterfeit one. That's right guys, I just had to make this video today as it's extremely important to know. The reason why it's so important that all of you know this right now is because Ducky, they recently stated on their website that over the past couple of years of the Ducky One Two Mini being so popular, only now now the company themselves, they've just discovered and confirmed that there's a ton of counterfeit ones on the market right now. Not only are they on the market as we speak guys, but they've been on the market ever since Ducky first started manufacturing the keyboard itself, which was about two years ago. I know this may come as a surprise to most of you out there, and I know it does suck to hear this, but please guys, do not stress or worry about anything just yet. As I right now, I'm going to explain exactly how to find out if you have I've got a real Ducky One Two Mini or a fake one. I've got to give credit to Mechanical Keyboards for helping me with this video as they produced a picture comparison of a fake Ducky One Two Mini and a real one. So be sure to go check out their website below guys because without them this video wouldn't have been possible. But yeah before I do get into this comparison though guys I want to say that if you have got a fake keyboard I know it's going to be very unfortunate but please stay to the end of this video as I may be able to help you out. If it turns out as well guys that you have got a real keyboard that's awesome you guys are all good to go you don't need to stress or worry but yeah back to the video itself now let's jump straight into it so the very first thing that all of you guys want to do right now is to find out exactly where you bought your keyboard from the best way to do this guys is to go into your emails and just type in ducky one too mini and you should be able to locate where you did indeed buy it from once you have located where you bought your keyboard from what you guys want to do is compare it to this list on screen right now. This right here is the official distributor list that Ducky has provided. This is essentially guys where Ducky is sending their keyboards like their official keyboards to so that those distributors can then resell them on. So if your keyboard is on this list like for me for example I bought mine from Candy Keys. As you can see they're clearly on this list right here. That pretty much means my keyboard is like 99% real but what I'll do and what I recommend you guys still do is to double check your keyboard with all of the tells I'll be telling you to check for today. Which now, speaking of those tells, let's now move on to them. So for the very first tell, what you guys want to do is you want to get your Ducky One Two Mini out in front of you as the first thing we're going to be inspecting is the PCB backplate. For the backplate guys, what you want to do is you want to check to see if the spacebar LED gap is actually centered. If it is, it should look exactly like the left authentic picture, but if it's not and looks similar to the right picture, that unfortunately means it is fake. Next up, we've got tell number two, the PBT double shot seamless keycaps. For this, what you'll need to do is you'll need to inspect the font on the keycaps themselves. On the authentic keycaps, you'll notice that they're pretty much perfect. The font will be fully engraved, straight, and just overall seamless. Whereas on the fake ones, these will be non-complete, like the font under keys like 4, R, D, B and O. They'll most likely have a gap between them when it's supposed to be fully connected. On the real authentic keycaps, you'll notice that in these areas specifically, they will be fully complete and connected. If they're not and it does have that gap, it means they are fakes. Next, we've got tell number three, the switch stabilizer. For the stabilizer, you all want to inspect the direction it's being installed. On the authentic real keyboard, you'll see that it's been positioned at the top, whereas if your keyboard is indeed fake it will be positioned at the bottom most likely it's really important as well to make sure that it is completely center as if it's not that also could indicate that it is a fake next up we've got tell number four the engraved ducky logo for this you'll need to inspect the spacebar pcb backplate bit again like we did with the very first tell this time round what you guys want to check for is the main ducky logo on the left side and to the right side the left side it should have a little ducky logo with the writing ducky on it and then on the right side it should just have a mini ducky logo by itself no text if that is the case on your keyboard it does mean that you have an authentic one whereas if it's just blank and there's no type of logo or if there is just that one logo on the left hand side it is very likely that you do have a fake one and moving on guys we've now got the fifth tell 
and that is the iconic Zodiac Spacebar. As you guys know, all of these Ducky keyboards, they have a Zodiac Spacebar, but what you'll notice is on the real ones and on the fake ones, there is a massive difference. What the difference is, is on the real ones, they actually will have a laser engraving on them. Like it'll feel deep and you can feel the texture that it's actually been laser engraved. However, on the fake ones, these just look as if they have been laser engraved, when in reality they have not, they'll just appear like they have. To find out if your spacebar has been laser engraved or not, it's super easy to find out. Just have a feel of it. If it's been laser engraved, it will feel like that. It'll be deep and it'll have a texture. And if it hasn't, it will just feel smooth all the way around. There'll be no deepness. It'll all be even and just smooth. If that's the case, your spacebar is indeed fake, which means the whole keyboard probably is as well. But yeah, that's the five main tells to see if it is a fake or not. I was just planning on leaving it like that, just five main ones to tell you guys, but I've decided that I'm going to add in two extra bonus tells. The first extra one is the box itself. The real box will feature stripes that are facing in an up and down direction, whereas on a fake box, these will have a stripe direction facing the left and right. And as well as that first bonus tell, I do have another one, and that is for the extra keycaps. If you didn't know, Ducky provides extra keycaps with every keyboard, and they even do that on the fake ones. To find out if these are real or not, the real ones will have a much thinner font, whereas with the fake ones, these will have a much more bolder looking, thicker font. That doesn't just apply to the font itself, by the way, it also applies to the logo. That will look a lot thinner on the real one. Just to mention quickly, guys, after inspecting my own keyboard, it is possible that some things are a little bit different depending on how old your Ducky 1 2 Mini is. For example, on the fourth tell right here, my keyboard, which is an official Ducky keyboard, that doesn't feature the logos that are on the updated slash newer versions of the Ducky 1 2 Mini. The reason why this is, guys, is because back in 2019, I think it was, Ducky actually made these sort of adjustments to their keyboard to try and combat counterfeit products. So with that being the case, if your keyboard does not feature these little logos or anything else that is a little bit slightly updated, don't worry guys, that doesn't necessarily mean your keyboard is fake. It just means that it could be a little bit outdated. I thought I would mention that quickly, but now let's go back to the video. And yeah guys, after testing out those seven tells in total, you should be able to figure out if your Ducky 1-2 Mini is either an authentic real one or a counterfeit fake one. If it turns out that your keyboard is in fact real, congratulations guys, that's awesome, you're good to go, you don't need to have a second thought. However, if it does turn out that your keyboard is fake and you do fail a bunch of those tells, I know firstly it's going to be very unfortunate, so I apologise for that guys, but hopefully all is not lost is what I recommend you all do right now is to contact the store you originally bought the keyboard from. I know at first it's going to suck to hear, like I apologise for that, but now that you've got the truth about your keyboard, you can attempt to make it right and either get the refund that you are entitled to, or at least some compensation in any way. May it be Amazon, a Chinese website or whatever, you guys need to contact them as soon as possible and you want to explain that it's fake and you want a refund. It's very possible that for most of you watching, when you first bought your Ducky 1 2 Mini, you were all under the impression that you were buying a real genuine keyboard. However, after you've just watched this video and you've tested your keyboard out to find that it is indeed fake, that does technically mean that they have conned you in a way. Like pretty much what that store has done to you right there is done false advertisement. As you thought you were getting a real keyboard, but no, it turns out that it was actually a fake one, which I'm pretty sure that in itself is highly illegal. But yeah, that's what I recommend that you guys do is to just contact the store itself, explain the situation to them, like mention the Ducky blog post, mention that you were under the impression that you were buying a genuine keyboard, and just really try and be as polite as you can and request a simple refund. Whichever store you get it from guys, they definitely should get you one as again, you are entitled to it. And yeah, that's all I've got for today guys, I'm really hoping that this video did help you out. It was just one of them videos I had to make, as I myself, I even had to double check that my keyboard was authentic. I'm really glad it was to be honest as that would have sucked if it was fake. After confirming it for myself though, I just thought to myself I need to make this video today to help 
you guys find out if your keyboard is real or fake. If it is real, nice one, you don't need to worry. But if it is fake, guys, again, you need to contact the store that you bought it from. But yeah, guys, if this video did help you out, feel free to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and use code LIFE in the Fortnite item shop. By doing that, guys, you'll be helping me out a ton, and it really is appreciated. And yeah, that's all I've got for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.